Susan Edwards understands miracles. She lives one every single day. Just driving her 11-year-old daughter Karina home after school totally qualifies. Karina came into this world only after it seemed almost certain that Susan and her husband Carlos would never be blessed with a child. We spent two years together before we said, okay, let's, you know, start to try and have kids. We went to the gynecologist, you know, get usual checkup and everything. I had fibroids. Then at around six weeks, I lost that baby. They found that one of my ovaries had, um, was the size of a grapefruit. It was necrotic. So when they went in, they had to take that out. So of course, that's, I thought that lessened my chances now, you know? And pregnant just like that. But it wasn't for long. No, yeah. I think it was about 12 weeks. Yeah. So I went back a third time. I said, okay, go and try another a third time. So I did and lost the baby at 16 weeks. So what's going through your head at that point? This is your third miscarriage. There was a girl, I was able to hold her. That was really, 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 really hard. Really, really hard. It was the low point of their lives. A heartbroken Susan fervently prayed, even bargained with God. If no child could be born to her and Carlos now, she vowed they would never try again. So then I decided I'm not doing it again. Because I'd heard horror stories, you know, because as you go through life, you meet people, oh, I did I was eight times, or they know somebody that nine times, nine miscarriages. And so I got scared. I said, no, I can't do that. That's too traumatic, you know? Susan became pregnant one last time. It was a difficult pregnancy with a cautious doctor putting her on bed rest at just 18 weeks. The wait was long and full of anxiety. But in the end, the Edwards bundle of joy was born completely healthy. This is the story of Karina. From the moment she opened her bright little eyes, mom and dad knew there was something inherently special about this child. Maybe it was because their souls had yearned for so long to be together. So tell me about the moment when she came into this world. I couldn't believe it. That was so awesome. You know, I came, I, I remember coming home from the hospital with her and I still couldn't believe it. I'm holding this little thing in my hand and I'm saying, you know, is this really real, you know? So at this point, you, you're thinking, we've made it. Yes. Yeah. We've made yes, it past yes, the yes, point. Yes, she's yes, here. Yes, she's yes. healthy. Mm -hmm. She's Bright, beautiful. Bright, fat. <laughs> and you could see it. You know, it's like she came out with an attitude. Yes. <laughs> yes. From the start, they carefully nurtured Karina's clearly above average intelligence with books, games, even a kitty computer. She was enrolled in an advanced preschool, and by the time she started kindergarten, she was far ahead of her class. Today, Karina realizes and appreciates all that they've done. I know my parents love me a lot. Even though sometimes I think I'm a know-it-all, I know they still love me even <laughs> though I might get on their nerves sometimes. And they try to provide a lot for me. Sometimes I might not get what I want all the time, but I know that they really do try to make me happy because they want me to have the best life possible. Karina, now in sixth grade, has never been off the honor roll. She maintains a 4.0 grade average, even takes college level classes in pre-med. I want to be something special. I want to be like a marine biologist. Wow, so you like animals? Yeah, I like marine animals. Karina knows she's been blessed, but if there's one small area of her life that may not be perfect, it's her room. Her mom lovingly decorated it several years ago when she was a young child. Right now, I guess it's okay, but I want it to be something that I like. Because when, when I was smaller, I liked it, but now that I'm getting older and I'm cheering, I want it to be like different, like a more not so girly color. So what's your favorite color? My favorite color is purple and black. I can totally understand what Karina's saying. This is a lovely room, but we here at Operation Build want to honor this honor student with a complete makeover. and hook up Susan and Carlos in the process. We are here in 
Sunrise, Florida at the Edwards home where 11-year-old Karina dreams of a new room to call her own. Most of our work will happen while Karina's away at school, but we need to say goodbye to mom and dad too so our crews can get to work. To help make Karina's dream room a reality, I brought in team member and interior designer Elena Capra. And just so you know, we got the team started obviously on the paint color and the flooring, and you did an awesome job picking those out. Thank you. I love the color. I think it looks great. This bright blue with the new flooring just it lightens up the space but still adds a fun pop of color. Absolutely, absolutely. So what else are we doing in the room? Okay, I'm really excited about this color palette. I um, heard that Karina really loves animated films. Mm -hmm. So to celebrate the release of DreamWorks' new movie, Home, I wanted to go with their color palette of the movie. So I pulled in some really fun orange, some lime green, some really vibrant purple and some aqua to kind of pull it all together. Yeah, and you know, she actually loves purple, it's her favorite color. Well, that's great because we have some purple drapes that are gonna go up and they're also really in a fun fabric. So I think the colors are gonna look awesome in here. I'm really excited. Absolutely, and the, the cool thing is is we've got all new furniture for her too, correct? Yeah, and it's all gonna be a bright white. So it's really gonna pop against this aqua and then all of the accent colors are gonna to blend together. This wall color choice is great because it's not too girly, it's not a pink, it's something that would work for years and she can always change out the bedding and the curtains and go with a completely different color palette, still keeping the blue. Absolutely, and I don't know if you saw the closet before, but it was kind of a mess. <laughs> so you and I have a lot of organization to do, so you ready for that? That's perfect <laughs> because I picked up some storage bins in all of these colors, yes. so we'll pull our color palette right into the closet as well. Fantastic, she's gonna absolutely love this and we've got a lot of work to do and not much time left, so let's get started. Ready to go. Okay. So far, here at the Edwards home in Sunrise, Florida, Operation Build has been hard at work, creating a home movie theme makeover for our miracle child Karina and we're installing cool new high-tech electronics everywhere for the entire family. We are busy here at the Edwards home, making over 11-year-old Karina's bedroom to celebrate the release of the DreamWorks animation movie, Home, this spring. Well, it's time to bring the Edwards family home in more ways than one. Welcome home. No. <laughs> Oh, Come over here. Come take a look. Is that real? It's real. It happened. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is beautiful. We made some small changes that made a big difference. So now we had a couple people come in and they offered a lot of support for this project. So Cree Lighting came in, changed all of your bulbs, and these bulbs are LED bulbs, so you won't have to change them for up to 23 years energy efficient, mercury free, environmentally wow. friendly, they're wow. amazing. And as you can tell, we have this amazing new TV. We had to update oh your gosh. entertainment system. And what is an entertainment system without wireless audio? So we have surround sound from Polk Audio. Wireless? Wireless. No plug in it? No, you guys had too many plugs back there. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and now this lovely lady, this is Elena, who is our designer and has totally hooked you guys up. Tell them what you did. Well, we wanted to warm up the space a little bit, make it nice and warm and inviting. Yeah. So we went with this beautiful gold color. It's still a nice neutral, so you could always add your touches and change out the colors, but really warms up the space. And we added some lighter draperies to kind of open everything up. Little touches of red and some nice new pillows and accent rugs. Hope you guys love it. Now it's time to unveil our miraculous remodeling of Karina's room. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my god! Oh my god. 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 Oh my
that you like it. Aww, Should I like okay. walk out and come back? <laughs> Are you totally shocked? Yeah. Doesn't this look awesome? Yeah. We kind of wanted to go with um, the new DreamWorks film, yes. the animated film Home that's going to be coming out. We took the color scheme as inspiration and pulled that through the whole room. So the aqua, the purple, the oranges. See that movie poster? Just sort of pulled as our inspiration for the entire space. Okay, did you think it could get any better? No. I think it can. So on behalf of the entire design team, we know how incredibly brilliant you are and we wanted some technology that is equally as brilliant for you. So put your iPad. <laughs> so you are totally hooked up. And now a new iPad to go with your amazing DreamWorks inspired. <laughs> and it's purple! So why don't you say we finish it off by checking out the trailer for the movie so you can see what inspired your room. All right? Among an alien race called the Move lives a lonely fellow named O. Hello! Who was just trying to fit in. I am superstar in technology. Uh-oh. But now... Arrest that Move! He needs somewhere to hide out. Come into the out now. No. But I can. <laughs> this spring. My friends call me Tip. I am O. O? I has been given this name by my many, many friends. Good morning. Uh, Hi, guys. Oh. Hello. Oh. From DreamWorks Animation. What did you do to my car? It should hover much better now. He's on the run. Why are they after you? I has made a few mistakes. <laughs> oh. Oops. We're not giving up. Let's go. He's changing her planet. Initiating self-destruct. No. DreamWorks Home. Shake that thing, Miss Hanna Bella. Shake that thing, ya da 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 da. Oh no! My hands are in the air like I just do not care. Shake that thing, Miss Hanna Bella. Shake that thing. Bring it in. You love it? You love it? Yes. Yes. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. We know that Karina's got a bright future ahead of her, and we're thrilled that we could support her and her family on their journey ahead. Thanks to my amazing team, especially my sidekick, Andrew, and the lovely Elena, we have got another mission accomplished. And thank you for watching. If you know anyone who's recovering from a negative life circumstance or who's in need, we hope you'll email us. Operation Build is ready to take on challenging new missions every single day. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Until next time, I'm Alexi Panos.